What's up guys? Welcome back to the Deuce and Tika channel. I'm Deuce. And I'm Tika. And we're back with another video. How y'all doing? At the end of the day, shout it out. Good money. How you doing, honey? Great. Oh. Fabulous. Oh my God. Starring. Yes. Well, I know it's been a while since you've seen us on the camera together. We've had a lot of stuff going on. Like I, uh, I started to mention some of it in a previous video. And it's just like I said, we just got a lot going on. You said a new baby. She's still still trying to get her to sleep through the night, and you know, and just and I'm working a little more. So just I mean, we 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 trying to get it together. But we we bringing you this content. Make you make sure you guys, if you are new here, make sure you smash that like button, turn on that bell notification so you don't miss another video. Subscribe and share with everybody on your social media. So today we got crab legs and corn. Yes, and I made you said still been having a hard time finding that beloved sauce, but uh, so I made my own. Um, you said hopefully you like it, honey. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I'm pretty sure I will. <laughs> right. But anyway, you said without further ado, you said let's get, let's dig in, baby. All right. Because I've been starving. Been we starving. been waiting. Oh, you but know, you said wait, let's get a thumbnail. Y'all yeah, might. Let, let me get a piece of corn. Right. Baby. I don't know what it is. All right. All right. Um, so, you know, a lot of times people just see these videos and think you just sit down, record, you eat, stuff your face, whatever, blah, blah. But there's a lot that goes into it behind the scenes. Yes, so absolutely. There's a lot of preparation, you know, for making sure the food looks a certain way, making sure there's flavor there, making sure we have the setup properly, the lighting properly, our faces properly. No, but. <laughs> you mean your face properly? Yeah. yeah. You know, it takes a while for me to paint my face, you know. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> well, we know, we know how y'all ladies do. But yeah, you know, so lot that goes into it and then I've been kind of busy and like you said he's been working more and my hands are full with the the five kids especially the four month old mm -hmm. um, she has really bad um, acid reflux so I'm trying to figure something out with that because the medicine right. isn't even working it's really not. growing up everywhere all the everywhere. time um, so so she's not sleeping through the night yet but right. no excuses we're gonna try our best um, we you know we'll be moving in a couple of months also mm -hmm. Back Lord willing, y'all be saying y'all send them praying hand emojis that we find a good house. Yes. To move to. Please. You know what I'm saying? Definitely could use all the prayers we can get. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And then we'll eat a little bit, try to talk in between. Mm -hmm. Also. There's been a lot of stuff going on. Yep. Let's see. Mm. Anybody watch the Super Bowl? Whose team? Whose team were you guys rooting for? Let us know down in the comments. And he was in Georgia. Yeah. For the Super Bowl, so I definitely did not watch. Because mm -hmm. honestly, all I know is when they make a touchdown football. <laughs> Other than that, I don't know what's going on. I know more about basketball than football. Right. Mm -hmm. And see, I'm not a huge basketball fan. Like that, mm -hmm. you know, I guess it's just too many games throughout the year, or whatever. <laughs> and trying to keep track of all of that and all the stats and you know, it all. So yeah, I'm more of a football fan, but that's mm -hmm. just you know, it's just me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Falcons all the way. And yes, sir. You see, you see what's, what's behind me, right? Falcons, everything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. No lie. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. But he might get more into basketball because our son recently has been. Our five-year-old, he's been, <clears throat> it's a little spicy, but I like spice. Anyway, our five-year-old's been asking to sign up for basketball. And he turns anything he can into a basketball. Yes, he definitely does. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And so, mm -hmm. so we'll he's been get... asking for Jordans a lot more. He loves LeBron James. So, let's see, me personally, I like the greats, you know what I'm saying, like, like, only player, two players before LeBron that I followed their career was Kobe and Michael Jordan. Mm. You know what I'm saying, and see, mm. like, like I said, even though I, I don't too much really like basketball like that, I still follow Kobe Bryant because I love his work, at, work ethic, you know. And you say he's like it. This world. And you don't have to play basketball to exude the mamba mentality. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I go to work every day. I take it. I take it to the max every day for my family. So you know what I'm saying? My family can be protected, and you know what I'm saying? We can be every day square away. I don't take no breaks. If I'm hurt, I'm still going to work. 
Man, he's not lying to you, y'all. Talk about now. So, so yeah. This man had a bad toothache. Yeah. Like, out of this world, no lie. First of all, I've never seen him in pain like that ever. Mm -hmm. I had to force him to go to the ER. I drove him there after, mind you, this is after hours and hours and hours of him sitting there in pain. <laughs> I mean, he was in so much pain, he was gargling with um, peroxide right, right. like every five minutes. Mm -hmm. Like, And then it got to the point where it was like every three minutes. He could not sleep that night, he couldn't lay down. I couldn't sleep either. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. And I'm like, man, let's just go to the hospital. Let's just go. Finally, he went. So they give him an antibiotic and everything. Tell me why this fool was still trying to go to work and try it. <laughs> I didn't tell. My family got to eat. You know? But there was no way he was going to be able to. I mean, because he drives for long hours. Mm -hmm. you know? There was no way that was going to be able to happen mm -hmm. with the kind of pain he was in and the medicine they gave him. He was going to do it anyway. His company, they had to tell him. No, nah, man. We care about your life too, you mm -hmm. know. So, which is one thing I do appreciate appreciate about the company. Okay. I don't know, cause they work with you. You know what I'm saying? They've been awesome to him the last five years. Mm -hmm. Like seriously. So, I don't even work for them, and I love them. You know what I'm saying? They might want to give me a job. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do, babe? Uh, just sit in the office. Sit in the office. <laughs> <laughs> How about I uh, dispatch all the loads? Okay. I'll give them all to him. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, but they're an awesome company, y'all. Yeah. Hmm. Through and through, so. But yeah, he's he has that mamba mentality. Right. So, um, like so, you said, it's not just a part yeah, of so, basketball. So, if, you said, if Kobe touched you in a way to where like you said even you know what I'm saying? Like you just wanted to, because you saw his work that ethic, you wanted to apply it to your life and mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's how you can honor him. You know. But it's, it's such a tragedy. It's definitely such a tragedy. It's horrible. Well, I remember when he I came downstairs and he was because that was actually the, the day that he lost his life was actually our daughter's twelfth birthday. Yeah. And um she had some friends over and stuff and I came downstairs so I can go Put a load of laundry in in the washer mm -hmm. and he was standing there looking at his phone and i'm like what are you looking at <laughs> he said yes, i keep know. seeing um <laughs> yeah <laughs> i keep seeing stuff that that kobe died and i'm like i mean first of all immediately my mind went to it's a rumor it's a lie and that's a, a sad thing that that's how we think about something that's serious like that well Shaq but, said the same thing he, he said his nephew showed him the, the same thing he snapped his nephew so get that out of my face mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but one, that's the kind of world we're living in. Two, you don't want to believe it. Right. You don't want to believe it. You're, you're almost hoping that it is a lie. Mm -hmm. um, even though that's a horrible prank or joke to say anyway. But, you're saying but I, was, I wish it was that because it was like, I just felt like it was a dark cloud over, over us after that happened. You didn't have to know him personally to have respect mm -hmm. for his character, his work ethic, and what he brought to the game of basketball exactly. even after he retired. Mm -hmm. You know, like... And the worst part about it is that his daughter was there too. And I think and so the thing, he's only 13 years old. Like. The thing that bothered me about the whole thing was how you saw how ugly people can be. Mm. You see, I, that's what I didn't like. You, see, you, get, you got to see exactly how ugly people can be. Mm -hmm. Talking about that's what he get for raping that girl. First of all, he was found not guilty. He was a... Second of all, they didn't continue with it because she didn't want to testify. Mm -hmm. She wanted a civil. They settled out of court. She did get an undisclosed amount of money. Mm -hmm. That's what she chose. That that was her decision. All right. So, but nonetheless, it does not give you the right to say he's a rapist. You know what I'm saying? Because there was no evidence found of that, and she decided not to testify mm -hmm. for her, her. Supposedly, she was getting death threats and stuff like that. Whatever the reasoning is, you can't call him a rapist. I seen something online where a teacher, a principal, said, you know, that was him getting his karma, you know, basically that's what the rapist deserved. But it's, but I, I find that a lot happening. I find that happening a lot, especially with black men. Mm -hmm. You were saying it's like no matter what, you crucify the mm -hmm. black man. Mm -hmm. But you know. Mm -hmm. Right. 
R. Kelly's a monster. He's a, we, we all know that. But Jeffrey Epstein was just as much of a monster. You know? In my in my uh, my opinion, so is you Hefner, because I've heard some stories. I don't know if they're <laughs> true, but I've heard some stories. From what we've heard. Mm -hmm. But no one speaks of them that way. Yeah. You know, um, then this man is gone. Like he can't even defend himself. Yeah. Can he? Can his soul rest properly? Like he still has a wife and other daughters mm -hmm. who are gonna have to. Especially the seventeen-year-old go to school and hear stuff like that about her dad. Like, so, so forget about all the money he's donated. Forget about all the charities he's helped. Mm -hmm. Forget about what he get he brought to the game of basketball. Mm -hmm. What he was after basketball, because that none of that matters, right? You know what I'm saying? Like real talk, but I, you know what I'm saying? In a lot of a lot of uh, ways, you said without Kobe, you wouldn't have a your LeBron James or you said. James Harden or you said Russell Westbrook. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know he you said he pioneered a new you said you said a new way to the game. You know what I'm saying? And, and he left when it was time for him to when it was uh, like he said on his terms. That's what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But you don't even know like that man got up every day early early mm -hmm. to go practice. And they said he was always the first one there and the last one to leave. Even Shaq said that. Come on. Yep. First one there, last one to leave. You can't do nothing but respect his hustle. Yeah, yeah. Straight hustle. And he played for the same team for 20 years. 20. How many people can you say that about? Nobody. <laughs> he played with a, a broken finger. Um, Ankles messed up. Tore ACL. Yeah. Didn't complain. They said he would get out there no matter what. So honestly... I mean, he did. He he did really. Um, he did do some the job. things. He did, yeah. And he, he was really great at it. And that was his goal. And that's that's why he will be talked about for years and years and years to come. Mm -hmm. Because he did set a lot of records. Also, and it's just like. It, and he spent his last tweet praising another 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 man, mm -hmm. not counting his own accomplishments, mm -hmm. but. Giving props to LeBron James. Yep. You saying that's called somebody that's a stand-up person that wants to give you your flowers while you're here. A lot of people don't know how to do that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't. I feel for his children and I feel for his wife because that's all she's known. Mm -hmm. They've been together since she was a senior in high school. That's all she's known. Mm -hmm. But now, like she said, she doesn't know what their future holds. Now, because you never... We don't... Let's be honest, you're not sitting here picturing our life without our significant other Absolutely. that's who we're choosing to be with um, for the rest of our days. So when it when it's cut short, now you do have to figure out how to go on. Especially if you have kids who have no choice but to mm -hmm. go on. You know, you have no choice but to get up every day and smile and all that. Because you don't want them to see you hurting so much to the point where they think that you can't function and you're not able to take care of them. Exactly. At the end of the day, pain is pain and it does hurt. And I feel like people should be allowed to feel what they feel and not suppress it because when you do that, um, it never really goes away. So, um, but I think people need to learn how to be a little more kind and a little more gentle because the fact of the matter is this man is gone. He lost his life tragically. Not just him, but eight other people did. There were other children there, other parents there. They all have lost their lives. And I don't... I don't feel like I've seen anything online where people are digging up the dirt of the dirt of the other passengers. No, at all. At all. Okay. No one's perfect. And I'm and I'm, I'm sure that you could find something. You know, and I'm please don't don't and especially don't do it because I, I said that I said that I'm, I'm, I'm you're trying to make a point of saying that you know what I'm saying. Let people you know what I'm saying. Let people be great. People make mistakes. You say let them bounce back. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like. I, I've had people tell me on numerous occasions, well, you can say, uh, Caucasians sit there and say, well, you know what I'm saying, uh, well, my family, you said my family, well, I, you said, I, I didn't, you know what I'm saying, have anything to do with your ancestors being enslaved, you know what I'm saying, so you, you can't hold us to that. Okay, y'all dogs weren't at Michael Vick house either, but y'all still holding on to that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, shots fired. Got a point there. Got a point there. People like to say stuff when it's 
when it's conducive to them, yeah. you know, and and that's it. It's just it's sad. Mm -hmm. It is very sad. I hope though you guys do keep Vanessa and those kids in your definitely keep them. Matter of fact, put them praying hand emojis in the in the comment section. Yeah, because no one really knows how that feels unless they've actually been through it. It's just crazy that how people can be just so heartless and insensitive, you know. It is. It is. I couldn't. I. I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I hope I would never have to be in that situation. Mm -hmm. um, so this claw is always the hardest to get open for me. And it has a lot of meat. Yeah. Why? I just wish that what's inside is beautiful. I wish. You didn't have to do all his work to eat. I don't mind the work. Um, <laughs> he don't mind the work. I don't right. mind the work. I don't mind the freaking work. <laughs> Open all these things for me. I just, I mean, I guess it's, it's it, it can be fun, but it's messy. I just, I mind the work when I'm hungry because I save my appetite for this. I do. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? I dig it, I dig it. Well, yeah. Um, well, <clears throat> your sauce? Really good. Was it a little spicy? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I like spice. Um, I wasn't in the kitchen when he made it, so I'm wondering what you put in. He said he used um, slap your mama. Seasoning. Yes, I, I used uh, slap your mama seasoning. <laughs> they need to have slap your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Oh my god, I can't with Just you. Just saying. Anyway. At least other than that, you said our relationship's definitely going good. So you just like we're getting back. You said after the holidays, you know, it could be stressful trying to get back, shake back, and everything like that. So you said we're we're getting that that space where we're clicking, we're back clicking on all cylinders, which I definitely appreciate. Yeah, yeah. You know, definitely, definitely appreciate. Definitely appreciate that. I don't know. I'm grateful for everything. I definitely count my blessings. Um, Every single day, I'm definitely learning how to be more present and live in the now. I tend to spend too much time in my head thinking about two months from now, six months from now, a year from now, or a little too stuck on yesterday, and then that takes away from you being able to be present. And the mm -hmm. thing is, is that like like I've been told, you never get this second back. Nope. So. So swing for the fences every day. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know, never know what could happen. You know what I'm saying? You said just like, even with this whole YouTube thing, you know what I'm saying? We've been doing it for a while, and yeah, we're we're not, you know what I'm saying, up there with the, you know the bigger YouTubers, and that's fine. We know that we'll get there. You know what I'm saying? As long as we keep pumping out content and we can keep engaging with you guys. Mm-hmm. And you know, of course, we're going to learn to be more consistent. Consistent, definitely. Consistency is key. Yes. And I think in my life right now, this is the only thing I haven't been consistent with. But it's not because I don't want to shoot. Well, because we don't want to shoot or we don't want to edit or whatever. It's just my schedule. It's the way it is, you know? Because kind of yeah. y'all know I'm in the truck with my dad, so, you know. And that's what it is, you know? Mm -hmm. But you saying, soon that's going to change. Just so I can be home more. I mean, which I like to be home more. And I know you guys want me home more. You were saying you guys been asking for cooking videos and challenge videos and just that and the third. So we're going to try to bring all those to you. You know what I'm saying? So you're definitely going to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to do that. Definitely. I don't, um, I, I feel like I could eat all the corn. <laughs> like, why? Um, shoot, I think, shoot, I think I would have had like three, four pieces of corn. Yeah, already. the corn. Three, like, four yeah. ears of corn, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. And this this meal is not even bad for you actually, because it's all seafood and corn. Mm -hmm. So pretty good for you. Mm, yeah, definitely. But I'm sorry, I don't know what he put inside the sauce. I know he started to say, "No, yeah, cut him off," because um, I see things inside the bowl Onions. that y'all can't see. Onions. That's what. I, oh yes, I need to get some of those. I need to get some of those on my corn and stuff. <laughs> I don't have a spoon. Yeah. Um, so, like you said, um, he watched the Super Bowl. I did not. Okay. What was you guys' favorite uh, commercial? Mine was the uh, the Rocket Mortgage Jason Momoa commercial. To me, that was hilarious. Definitely a uh, close second 
was the G, uh, the Jeep commercial with uh, Bill Murray, and third was the J Lo um, commercial with DJ Khaled. Mm. Mine was all of those. Mm. Cause that's what he said. <laughs> but um. I think my, my least favorite commercials and you said like I wanna enjoy football. I don't care about politics, especially that while I'm doing my football. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like you saying like even you saying like I said the Mike Bloomberg ads, blah 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 blah, I get it, whatever. Trump ads, I get it, blah 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 blah. I don't care about that. I wanna watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> you can we not talk about politics for one day? Not in America. <laughs> Cause this is America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. It's always something going on with that. I, I'm, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not in the loop with none of that. Mm. I only ever know what's going on with all that from him. Yeah, I think, I think I'm just gonna leave it alone. You said I'm just gonna listen to you know, the candidates as we, you said, get closer to 2020, closer to November, and see who I'm gonna vote for, and then uh, you said leave it there. But I, as far as right now, I think I'm just. Stop worrying about politics, cause it's it's you not get wrapped up in mm -hmm. it in a bad way, in a major way. I definitely do not want to do that. Oh, yeah, definitely. Just keep that. Mm. Mm -hmm. I wanted an onion. Somehow I was trying to get the onion, cause I knew I saw something good at the bottom. <laughs> well, you know, you said when I cook, I cook with love, and you know. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You throw it in there. See, I can't get into it, into the food like I want, because I'm over here trying to, I'm like, mm -hmm, trying. She's trying to be cute. When I know that's not how I eat, okay? <laughs> I know. Every time I eat, I got something on my dang shirt, and I'm like, <laughs> you know me, you know. Right. So let me just do that. Mm. Hell yeah. Well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys, um... Mm. <coughs> we shouldn't make our own sauce. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's kind of, mm. That spice hit the back of my throat. <laughs> mm -hmm. That slap your mama. Yeah. Ooh, look at them onions, though. Yeah. That might be a little too much. I'm gonna have onion breath after. <laughs> so I still get you, baby. Okay. Mm. It's like <sighs> finger looking good. Mmm. 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 I can't wait till we can get a hold of that. Or be loved, son? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. I'm a little jealous mm -hmm. that everybody made videos with it in. Every time. I thought she was supposed to have some more already. I think she does. I just you, you, I just haven't uh, been on Amazon in a while. Mm -mm. So, yeah. But, yeah. Have you, you yeah. said, if, have you guys tried to be loved sauce yet? You said, if, if so, let us know how it tastes in the comment section. Mm -hmm. What's, what's y'all opinion on it? She's doing her thing. Mm -hmm. Can't be mad at that. It's funny because my mom was telling me <clears throat> about a week ago. She was like, there's some lady who's supposed to be um, coming to Cleveland or somewhere. Cincinnati, Cle no, Cleveland, yeah. She was like, they were talking about her. She has this sauce and she eats on YouTube and she makes a lot of money doing that. <laughs> it's so funny because I'm like, Mom, that's be love. See, I didn't know what she said. I just told them my daughter and my son-in-law they they make um, eating videos too. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, bless her heart. Like, appreciate the shout out, Miss Queen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I said, yeah, mom, that's be love. Everybody knows who she is. Mm -hmm. If you don't, you sleep. Or oh, you're just not into the, the mukbang community. You know what I'm saying? If you're not, that's okay. But she's been on the news and everything mm -hmm. now, so even if you don't watch her, you've heard of her. Right. I'm sure you've heard of her. Yeah. Or, you, or you've seen her. You, you've seen her. And don't know if it was her that you saw. It's, it's the lady with the with the nails, the makeup on, killing the seafood. She shows up in everybody's Facebook, I mean, Instagram Explorer page. And she eats however the heck she wants. She's like, it's going to be a mess. Y'all mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I don't care. Exactly. I'm just being me. She's being her. Who can be mad at that? You know? Yeah. Who can be mm -hmm. mad at that? She's like, hmm. 
I might say stuff wrong. Mm -hmm. I might not know what I'm talking about or everything, but so what? I just respect people being who they are. Yeah. Because I think there's something so beautiful about being mm -hmm. able to be who you are. Because it's so hard to do that anyways yeah. in this world without worrying about judgment and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I struggle with that too. So, you know, I know. But this last year has been a blessing and it's been trying in some ways. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, 2019 mm -hmm. I've been, but 2020 is going to be a lot better because I'm not pregnant anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, that pregnancy was rough, y'all, so. Yeah, I had to be here for it. Trust me, please. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> Man. I had to, I witnessed it first thing, but yeah. Pregnancy was rough. If you was around me or no, I stayed away from most people. Mm -hmm. If you talk to me, you know. Um, my father in law was trying to be funny today. What is he saying? Talking about Oh, she's trying to roll over already and scooting and trying to hold her own bottle. She's four months, just turned four months. You know what they say about that? No. <laughs> no. no. The devil is a liar. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say about it. Okay. Father in law, father in law. Love you though. But don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like people always do that. They're like, just one more. What the what hell you mean just one more? And they always say that. You know, good and hell well, they're not gonna help you take care of the child. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good. We we are in our thirties. Thankfully, someone has a birthday coming out. Yeah, um, I sure do. We have a house for we don't need them all. And, you, and yeah. Valentine's Day is coming up too. What are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Yeah, what's going on on that? That's the love birds day. Yeah, but if you're, if you're in love, you should be- Every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Most definitely. Oh. Uh, me too. Anyway. Cause I had corn. Yeah. That corn will. Yeah, it's corn banging. It banging. the heck up, but it's good. Mm -hmm. oh, damn. So but, uh, you guys like this video? Make sure you smash that like button. Turn on that bell notification. Share this video with everybody. Without further ado, I love you. And I love you. And we out of here. Peace.